This week we're back competing on our home courts, taking on great West Coast Conference team, that is Santa Clara. They're currently ranked number 53 in the country, almost a top 50 team and definitely a tough challenge. Unfortunately since I played these college matches a couple months ago I don't have much behind the scenes footage to add into the videos, but stay tuned because in future videos where I play pro matches there will be a lot more of that. Anyway, we started with doubles, as usual, and on court 2, also as usual. Big point here to start it off in the first game, we're 30 all in the return game, and pretty quickly we find ourselves all 4 at the net, which doesn't happen often in my matches to be honest. But a great volley from Eddie and we earned that break point. We lose the next point though, so it's deuce, and this volley goes right at my knees and I can't quite do enough to save the point with this lob. Yeah! We get on 5 in the next game, and get a fairly straightforward hold. The next game we're down 40-30 and really trying to be aggressive again as we saw that we could get chances on their serve. Big foreign winner here by me. On deuce point he goes again with the lefty slice wide and yeah my back end is still very much limited from wrist pain. We go about another comfortable hold and it is now 2 15 all before this huge return winner. 15-30 up and playing on a second serve is a great spot to be in and I play heavy deep inside out and well we get a free miss there and 3 break points. First break point is gone with a good point by them, but another second serve here as my return stays a bit middle and yeah I mean once again they pull out a good point. One final break point and a first serve that we called out but it got overruled so chances were gone there. Next game 40-15 and we're really cruising for the most part on our serve. We just need that extra push to steal a break at this point. 3 all 40-15 and this is the longest point of the match. Ultimately that doesn't help us though, as we still lose the game, but we make up for it by holding after. 4 all and this could be the game of truth here. Just on the reach of that slice I get the point going. We get into a situation we don't hate as a double spear, which is with them at the net and us at the back. A great lob here by Eddie and I for sure thought the point was done here, but somehow he gets it back. Right over the sun and I think it's like one of the worst shots of my life, completely whiffing the ball here. The game is not gone yet though, as we needed to get to deuce point to put some pressure on them. This foreign right down the middle does the job. Use point once again. Another chance gone. Not good to accumulate missed chances, you know, but at least we were holding. This surely had to be it. Maybe not this point, but at least this game. And yeah, definitely not this point. 30-40 and I finally get a foreign on this lefty slice serve, which was a big hand. I was determined to continue the rally on this diagonal here until the right ball, because I knew I was stronger. There's the right ball and with some help admittedly from the net, we finally secured the break. So now all we needed was to hold once more. I can't put this volley away and not even the next one. So I basically kept him in the point. After a couple hits I step in and finally do something good this point and close the volley. 40-15 here, two match points. Return goes right at me and I definitely could have done better with this volley. And I get an overhead next to close, but still nothing. Eddie gets a good approach and come to the net. And I'm just reacting at the net at this point, kind of hoping they miss to be honest. This must have been the most unique overhead ever, but you know what, it sets up the volley that seals the match somehow, so I'll take it. Yeah, not the best playing at the net, but that was decisive to give the team the doubles point and go into singles with a lead. In singles goes without saying, I was playing at the number 2 spot. I was facing French player Guillaume Dalmasso who is ranked 1095 ATP and a 12.92 UTR, so a pretty strong opponent. Let's see how I did. He was definitely an attacking player, big serve and aggressive, but maybe not the best mover, that's why I knew it was important to push him back like I do here and lead the rallies. Lot 30 first game, but as I said, very good service, so it wouldn't be easy. Just like me, his back end was the weaker side. He liked to slice it a bit and when he hit it, often landed short. Big four on the line here secures me three break points. The first one is enough though, as he double falls. So yeah, very cheap break there and I was definitely looking to consolidate it quickly to keep pressure on him. While this backhand was okay, his foreign was pretty good and could move me well. He pushes me outside here, but I hit a great cross court winner. We find ourselves 30 all. Tricky situation and immediately I try to move him even though he pushed me back. Once again a very deep ball by him here, but I move him well to the other side. That just leaves the foreign up close, but I miss it. So I'm in trouble here, let's see if I can react.
Deuce point here and first serve at the body to try to jam him and I straight away get the approach and I go four in here. Not the best first volley but the second volley closes the point. So 2-0 and I'm hoping that staying solid here will play part in making him miss more since he has to catch up. I'm already behind this point here though, trying to fend with my slice but that doesn't take me too far. I blocked the back and return here. My wrist was still quite hurting, but I knew it was a strong opponent, so I had to push through this match. I knife one deep cross court. And crazy to say, but it's the one that sets me up for the inside in winner. 30 on his serve touches the nest trap. I still managed to save myself though, and actually push him back. This is great because I can start leading with the foreign and making him run side to side. On this approach chance, I decide to go line and win a great point. First break point, and surprisingly good deep return with the back end. Every once in a while, even with this limited movement, I can get one where I want, which is great. I'm not really able to take the upper hand this rally though, and as I try to do that with my forehand, I miss the inside out. Another chance to go double break up though. Good serve and quick approach to my back end, but I'm able to keep it low and straight, and with help of the nest traps, I get the break. Here's your up is definitely an ease on the nerves, and as you can see, I'm going for big shots more, not being scared of the outcome. 40-15 here and trying to close up the game, but I knew it couldn't be that simple and that he was gonna fight back. Cross court volley here, but it's not good enough and he passes me line with the back end. I go at it again at 40-30 though, and after his deeper turn, I immediately take the lead of the point. I approach on his foreign though, classic mistake, and once again, I make the first volley, but that's not enough, just as the previous point. Deuce point then, and break point for him. Absolutely vital point there to snatch that game away from him. He was getting on the scoreboard soon though as the next game is up 40-15 and after a good return I hit a weak back and into the net. So I do the next game I had to be careful and this was not a good start. Also this guy from the other team was screaming his lungs off at my mistake. This is what you have to deal with in college. About 30 my focus is really just on playing my game nice and aggressive and take away chances of leading the point from him. Great approach here and naturally I scream my lungs out to get back at the guy from the previous point. And yeah, somehow I get in trouble, the ref was just embarrassing. After I had to deal with that guy on the sideline all match, I couldn't even celebrate when I win the point. As you can see, even the coaches got involved and it was just stupid that I got a warning for that, but whatever, had to let it go. Anyway, 15-30 next point, solid enough second serve and then go big four and inside out. And actually no celebration at that point, just to send a message. Sometimes when these things happen, they actually fire me up and I play better afterwards. I leave it short here and he approaches me with a slice and you already know the inside in is coming. Forty thirty, just missed a 4 in there at the end. Tricky deuce point here, and on a second serve he tries to rush me coming forward with the return. And I have to hit a back in here, the volley's just out. So yeah, 5-1, but definitely had to deal with some tricky service games. And yeah, now 5-2. Wanted to keep at least this next game smooth to try and close the set, but inside in here, and he hits this heavy winner cross, which I thought was going out. We get the 30 all here in big points. Again, a strategy was to always move him with pace, knowing he couldn't be aggressive when on the run. And these foreigns here really did the job well to set me up. The overhead is underwhelming as usual, but he misses the passing shot. It's 40 30 here, even though the score didn't update. And I'm kind of in defense here, and this allows him to move in around and come to the net. A decent pass, but this next one, Hanner is one to forget about. Deuce on second serve, but I jam him a little bit, and once again, should have attacked to the back end. And then I play a super awkward volley, and that's just a gift. I3 and I was hoping it was 6-2 at this point, but I still think I was playing a little better and he was missing more, like this 4 in line here. A good first serve to my back end and it's 30 all though. An easy miss by him and it's set point. I knew he would serve in volley so I tried keeping it low to the back end. And the next pass is not great, but I guess that's the job. Good to take home the set, maybe in a way even better for it to be 6-3, so I can start serving in a second set, you know? But it is new balls every set in college, so I always struggle with that in the match because I think I lose control more easily of my shots. 
This turns out to be a pretty long point and has a little bit of everything, defense and attack by both. I have to hit quite a few backhands and then I'm on the run. And on this deep forehand I try to slice but I just stop on the net. So yeah, as a first point in the new set, pretty tiring, but also good that we used the ball a little bit. I tried mixing heights and paces a little bit here at this point, to take him out of good rhythm. My end goal was always the same though, to eventually take control and moving around at fast forehands. Unfortunately, it's three backhands here, and as he's getting tired, he wants to go a line, and luckily misses. 15 all, very aggressive return, and pressure is on me. A good first serve, and this time I want to make the approach try. Probably a drop shot could have worked too, but his lob is very short, so I knew I basically won the point. Big point here on 30 all. Heavy to the back and to see if he plays short. And this one was very close, but I play it anyway. Luckily he overdoes it with the four next. I would love an easy point here after a tough game. And there, thank you very much. 30 all the next game, and starting points on this second serve instead of his first made a big difference, even if I didn't always use it to my advantage. I push him out with the forehand here, but he holds on well. And even in the next shot with the backhand, he's on time. I reset and play middle, and well, this was unexpected. I'll take a free point though, as a matter of fact I'll take two, as he double falls next. I think the match could be closer score wise, but the separator so far has been that I've played the big points much much better. That really shows you that high level tennis is only played on a handful of points each set. And it's even then separated between Novak, Roger and those champions against all other players. Anyway, the score is 3-1 now, 30-15. And while momentum is still on my side, my primary goal was to stay out of danger on service games. That meant at some points like here I just had to stay solid and work for my chances to come forward and not just rush out of the point. We stay pretty neutral in this rally, even when none of us played with good pace or angle, the other would stay solid and play deep. So there weren't really any freebies. Eventually I get this middle four in and I decide to absolutely juice it. 15 and the first serve kid at the right time and does the job. He was starting to struggle now as the score was also heavy on him and I was playing with my arm loose. A big four in here and a miss. 15-30. Serve and volley and once again I know the best thing is to play low on the back end. I miss aside this next four in but he still doesn't make the volley. 30-40 and frankly my instinct this point is just to hit a four in winner as hard as I can. But my brain was telling me to at least wait for the right ball. I don't need to even get there as I get a free error. I make some mistakes myself this game, so I find myself 15-30. I'm playing aggressive here, but despite that, it turns out not that easy to close the point. Thirty all, and thank God he misses. First match point, and that is enough as he misses the return. So big win for me and the team on court 2. This was the first singles point and we actually won the entire match 4-0. So that was a big conference win for us and a performance to remember. We only had two home matches left in the season and as it's my last year I was really looking to make the most of them.